Tradition dictates that orange liqueur be served as a digestif, but nowadays it's also used as an ingredient in popular cocktails. For instance, mixed with tequila to make a margarita, with gin to make a white lady, or with vodka to make a cosmopolitan. Orange liqueur is also known as triple sec, triple referring to the fact it's distilled three times. Sec is French for dry. However, this liqueur isn't dry at all. It's actually very sweet, even though it's made with mostly bitter oranges. Triple sec was invented in 1834 by this distillery in France. The liqueur is made from a combination of sweet orange rinds and bitter orange rinds, which are green, imported from Haiti. The rinds arrive sun-dried, so the first step is to rehydrate them by soaking in cold water for about 12 hours. The next step is running each and every rind through a revolving razor to remove the white lining. Left on, this lining would make the liqueur taste bitter. Rind with its lining removed is referred to as zest. While the distillery will divulge that its liqueur recipe calls for significantly more bitter orange zest than sweet orange zest, the precise ratio is top secret. The next step is what's known as maceration. They soak the zest in sugar beet alcohol for about five days, during which time the rinds soften and the alcohol turns slightly orange. At the end of the maceration phase, they pump the alcohol and transfer the zest into a long-necked copper vessel called a still. Once all the alcohol and zest are inside, they close up the still. Then they release hot steam, which heats the still, bringing the alcohol to a boil. The alcohol evaporates, rising up the still's long neck until it reaches a condensation system which cools it to liquid form again, but now with a more concentrated flavor. This entire distillation cycle takes about a half hour. The result is a spirit of bitter and sweet oranges that has an alcohol level of between 86 and 88 percent. The first flow out of the still, called head phlegm, is white due to the orange oil which has risen to the top. Once that oil flows off, the spirit is clear and ready for another distillation the next day, then another the day after. Three distillations in all. The final spirit, called Heart, now has an alcohol level of 81 to 83 percent. They pour a precise amount into a stainless steel mixing vat. In a different mixer, they combine water and sugar, heating until the ingredients concentrate into syrup. Then they add the syrup to the spirit, the proportions are top secret, and mix for at least an hour. The syrup gives the liqueur additional sweetness and dilutes the 80% alcohol level in half to 40%. In the distillery's quality control laboratory, technicians test samples regularly to ensure that the liqueur's alcohol level is always consistent. On the bottling line, the first station is a rinsing machine. It disinfects the interior of the frosted glass bottles with alcohol. Next, the bottles proceed to the filling station. These are 750 milliliter bottles. However, the liqueur is bottled in several different sizes. The next station places a metallic twist cap onto the neck of each filled bottle, then twists it until the bottle is tightly sealed. The final station simultaneously applies front and back adhesive labels. Triple Sec is a completely colorless liqueur, not what some might expect, given its unmistakably orange flavor. <laughs>